Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of April. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out in a Celtic cross. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. First off, we have the Three of Swords in the upright, followed then by the Nine of Pentacles upright, and next we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse, followed then by Major Arcana, the Death card upright. And next we have the Page of Swords in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana, the Hanged Man, reverse, followed then by the Two of Wands in the upright. And next we have the um, Eight of Cups reversed, followed then by Major Arcana, the Hierophant in the upright. And your last two cards are the King of Swords and the Major Arcana, the World in the upright. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and interpret this read for you. Virgo, for your overall energy, you have that of the Three of Swords in the upright position. The Three of Swords upright can represent sorrow, sadness, and loss for some of you. This could be representative of loss of, um, remember it's just a general read, so it's different for all of you. Uh, only take what resonates for you. If it doesn't, then it's not meant for you. But the Three of Swords is um, representative of just hurt feelings. It could be some of you had lost a friendship. You could have lost a loved one. You could have lost a pet. You could have lost a relationship, lost a job, but lost something. <laughs> Just something that really um, sort of pierced the heart. You know, it's uh, it's very sad energy and it's fresh because it's in the upright position. So it's something some of you out there, Virgo, are dealing with. I'm very sorry if you have, uh, this resonates for you and you have lost someone, I, I, you know, or have gone through some kind of hurt or disappointment. I feel for you and I'm really sorry for that. And the Nine of Pentacles is uh, crossing you. <coughs> so this is just energy that will be waning in and out throughout the uh, month of April. The Nine of Pentacles represents that sort of independent streak, which we all know Virgos have. Um, it's funny because this card always reminds me, uh, even though it's not necessarily um, a Virgo card, I mean, it is Earth energy, but this card always reminds me of Virgo for some reason because it's so fiercely independent and the Nine of Pentacles is a strong, independent person. This is a person who can take care of themselves. And I don't think anybody is more capable of taking care of themselves than a Virgo. So it could be you feeling strong and feeling stable and feeling like I got this, I've got, you know, I can take care of, of things regardless of, you know, if you've gone through a breakup or you're really hurt over something, you've got this, you, you are, you know, strong in that Virgo nature. So you're going to make sure that you keep your feet on the ground and you keep steady and stable here although extremely independent <laughs> so uh nobody's going to tell you what to do or how to feel <laughs> virgo and then um in your past we do have this is something that could have taken place a couple weeks ago a couple months ago uh we do have the three of pentacles here in the reverse position this can point to difficulties in the workplace that's why when i saw the three of swords i said it could be a loss of job maybe some of you did lose your job and it was very devastating or extremely hurtful or disappointing to you. Some of you could have just have had some problems in the work, uh, or it could have been in the home because sometimes the Three of Pentacles can represent a group of people in the home working together. Something went wrong here, something went off. Um, the It could have been you were working on a project together with other people and it came to a halt. Uh, it came to a stop or it could have uh, just been complications or just a complete, you know, dismantling of something. <clears throat> now, coming into the month of uh, April, we have Major Arcana, the Death card, the Scorpio card here in the upright position. Something really needed to come to an end or transform. It couldn't go on. It wasn't sustainable the way it was. So for some of you, it was in the home. Others of you, this could have been in the workplace. It was no longer sustainable. It could have just come to an, a complete end. Others of you, something transformed had to come. It's The reason the death card is the Scorpio card is because it's all about transformation. It's the, the phoenix rising from the ashes of what has been destroyed. So... This is uh, how you came into the month, uh, Virgo, trying to figure out 
how you're going to transform a situation. So around the middle of the month, we do have the Page of Swords here in the upright position. Page of Swords is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy, that of air, um, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. Now, the Page of Swords, pages generally bring in messages, could be from any sign. So it could be for some of you, there was... Um, a message that came to you or reached you from someone, or it could have been gossip, something that you just heard, could have been about work, could have been about other people, could have just been messages that were cryptic, because the page of swords doesn't fully, remember it's just at a page level, doesn't fully know the full story, so sometimes you have to get confirmation or backup um, with this information. Just make sure that you get, uh, you delve into it, do your own, you know, confirmation when it comes to the page of swords others of you this could represent somebody spying um looking into the affairs of others the page of swords can be that person a little bit of soccer energy could be somebody watching you closely if you were applying for a job this could just be representing someone who was um uh, basically doing background check or something like that on you others of you it was just somebody spying looking in at your social media, things like that. Now, towards the third week and uh, coming to the end of the month, we do have Major Arcana here, the hanged man in the reverse position. This points to no longer looking at a situation from a different perspective. When the hanged man is in the upright position, we're looking at a situation because we're trying to see it from a different perspective than what it is, so to make more sense of it or process it uh, before we move forward. Sometimes it could be just a plain old stalemate where you can't move due to the fact that other things are not moving so you can't move when the card is inverted however this is can represent a return to action no longer needing to look at a situation from a different perspective because we know what's happening now it can be a card of acceptance of you know what's happened now this is you internally not necessarily the face you're showing to the world we do have the two of wands in the upright position this is a beautiful energy to see in with this reading because the two of wands represents that one foot in the past one foot in the future but if you look at the card closely this person is turning their back on the past and they're focused on the future so this is what it is, whatever has either come to an end or has uh, been destroyed or whatever have you uh, in your life, Virgo, you're no longer going to be focusing in on it. You're going to be focusing in on where you're going and that's the future. So you're going to be looking forward, not behind you. Now, in your people and environment, we do have the Eight of Cups here in the reverse position, which can point back to the Seven of Cups upright, which is card of choices and options and opportunities. Uh, so this could be how people are seeing you, viewing you in the month, but this could also be um, someone significant in your in your environment that you're, could be a family member, a, a spouse or someone could be looking to return to the past to something that once made them feel emotionally stable. Now, this could be how people are looking at you because something looks like has gone away, but it could be that you, they're thinking you, Virgo, you might be going back to a relationship from the past or you might want to do a hobby from the past or do something that makes you feel emotionally fulfilled. So you could be looking at options or opportunities, or it could be someone in your environment that's doing that. Now, in your hopes and fears position, we have the Taurus card here, the Hierophant in the upright position. Hierophant speaks of um, contract. Maybe you're hoping, some of you could be hoping for a contract, hoping for a commitment, hoping um, to uh, perhaps embark on a new spiritual journey even because this can represent spirituality and religious and so forth religion so perhaps some of you are hoping to get maybe more involved with the church or religion or spirituality others of you could just be hoping for a contract maybe a government contract or a um, or a commitment maybe from someone perhaps some of you want a commitment from a taurus <laughs> And your last two cards that conclude the read in the month for you, we have the King of Swords in the upright rooted with the World card in the upright. So the King of Swords, this is court card, could be representing a person. This is um, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
uh, sun, moon, or rising male or female. Maybe some of you are connected to an air sign. Others of you, because the King of Swords can also represent a legal representative. This could be someone in the uh, legal field, such as a lawyer, a police officer, a, uh, a judge, someone. It could even be an arbitrator, someone standing up for you. This could be someone who's speaking on your behalf. It's with the world card. The world is very significant. It's a major arcana. It's the last card, and it's also like one of the most important heavy hitter cards we have. It's pretty intense. So if this comes up right at the very end of the reading for you, Virgo. So it could be that there is a completion here. Now a completion with the world could be any, I call it my graduate card. It could be that you're graduating um, from, you know, scholastic life into a career where you're gonna be out there in the workforce now. Uh, it could be for others of you, this could be a legal representative that closing out, say, a long-standing marriage. This is the end of the marriage, right? So this could be the lawyer closing out this. But this would, if it's a divorce situation, this is not something that would be a big surprise coming up at you at the end of the month. This would be something that would be in the works for quite some time, especially with the death card here too, right? So this would have been something that was already ongoing. This could just be the final papers being sign now. Um, for others of you, this could represent uh, selling a, a property that you've owned for many years and it's time to downsize or, you know, change it up. It's just about a major closing out a cycle in your life that needed to come to an end anyway. And look at where you're at, Virgo. You're one foot in the past, one foot in the future, but you're focused on the future. This is all about future focus. For some of you, it could be with a, a person, the air sign or... Um, someone who is, uh, you know, like this could be on the romantic front for sure, where you're, you know, starting a new life with someone else. But this could also be uh, playing out in, a, you know, a work, career, uh, another way. It's very hard when it's just a general read, so you don't know. I try to cover all bases, you know. So anyway, that is your reading, uh, Virgo, a very intense reading for a very intense sign. So I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.